Welcome to the Data Scientist Podcast with Dr. Stylianos Kabakis. Dr. Kabakis is a data scientist, statistician, and blockchain expert with a mission to educate the public about the wonderful capabilities of technologies like AI, data science, and DLTs. These technologies have the potential to transform the world, the economy, and our lives. However, there is too much misinformation around tech, and so most people are just confused about what is true and what is not. Whether you are a CEO, an entrepreneur, or just an enthusiast, the Data Scientist Podcast helps you separate reality from hype. Hi, everyone. In this episode, I want to talk about data science coaching. So what is data science coaching? I'm sure many of you must have heard about business coaching. So this is when a professional business coach works very closely with a CEO or an entrepreneur and they help them improve on many different aspects from selling to marketing to coming up with ideas to running a business. So data science coaching borrows from this concept from business coaching and it uh, refers to the relationship that a data scientist can have with an executive in order to help an executive better design a plan for data science within a company and get a better understanding of how technologies like machine learning or AI can be used in business. So data science is quite unique in the world of technology. The reason being that it interacts directly with the business on many different levels. I think it's easier to demonstrate what I mean by giving you a counterexample. So the opposite of data science is software development. Software development is a very important part of any technology business, but software development can quite often hide in the background. So a CEO might request some features and they know that these features are going to be implemented. Sometimes, you know, the expectations may not be right and you have like managers in between to manage this process, but uh, more or less, it's relatively straightforward. At the same time, the results of software development are quite often very visible. So if you ask someone to develop an app for you, then you can trust that eventually the deliverable is going to be an app, Android or iPhone, and you can use this app to, you know, you can play around with it. You can actually see what it looks like. This is not so much the case with data science. So in data science, what you get back is a model. And a model is not something which is, let's say, very transparent or very visible or easy to understand by someone who is not a data scientist. So in order to prove that data science delivers results to a, to a business, what a data scientist has to do is to implement the model and then run tests and maybe even wait one, two or three months in order to prove to the stakeholders that, hey, this solution that I developed is actually a good solution. And obviously this doesn't always sit very well with decision makers. The reason being that it's a slow process and a difficult to understand process. So. This is one of the reasons that uh, data science has a special relationship with the business component. The other reason that data science is a bit special compared to software development is the science bit. In most cases, it's impossible to know in advance how well something will work until we implement it. This means that a CEO might ask for a recommendation engine and it's impossible to know how well this recommendation engine will work and how many months of work it would take to reach a good level of performance. So this adds to the uncertainty of engaging in a data science project. Finally, something else which makes data science quite special is that it can also directly impact business outcomes. So if coming back to the example of a recommendation engine, if a company implements a recommendation engine, maybe a year down the line to see that um, you know profits increased by 10% because of the engine's recommendations. So on one hand, 
Uh, data science is not very easy to understand by non-experts, but on the other hand, it can directly impact business outcomes. Oh, and something I forgot to mention is that also, depending on how important data science is for a venture, the venture might have to adapt to the data scientist's requirements. So, for example, if coming back to, to, to the example for this podcast, a recommendation engine, if a recommendation engine is a very, very, very important part of your business, then you might want to make adaptations to the interface to collect more data. So all of these factors make data science very special because on one hand, it can directly affect the performance of a business, but on the other hand, it's not easy to deploy, it's not easy to test. And this is why it's very important for the decision makers to feel comfortable with their understanding of data science. And this is what a data science coach can do. So a data science coach is a data scientist who has experience working with many different organizations and can understand this interplay between business and science. So this is a person who can coach the executive on what is the right course of action, on how data science works, how projects should be structured, but do this at the right level. Yeah, so you don't want to go too deep with this. You don't want to go too technical, but at the same time, you don't want to be too high level. You want to be just at the right level. And this is something that comes with experience. And obviously, as it is the case with every coaching relationship, this is also something very personal in a sense, right? Because as two people work together over time, they start to better understand each other's thinking processes and learning styles. So this is also part of the coaching, let's say, package. So data science coaching, I believe, is very useful in two kinds of cases. On one hand, it's very useful for entrepreneurs who might want to use data science in their venture, but they feel a bit you know, insecure as to how they should go about it. And on the other hand, it's very useful for bigger companies that they've not implemented data science yet, or maybe they have implemented data science, but the executives and the managers feel that there's no one in the company yet who can provide this bridge between the business and the science. So in any of these two situations, a data science coach can be very, very valuable. So if you identify with any of the things I mentioned earlier, then you should definitely consider getting a data science coach. So that was it for this podcast. I hope you found this interesting and useful. Thank you for being here with me and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Make sure to visit thedatascientist.com for more content about data science, AI, and blockchain.